JP Morgan has posted a jump in net income and higher than expected adjusted revenue for the second quarter as the biggest US bank was boosted by elevated interest rates that helped offset lower deposit balances and an uptick in loan loss provisions. The company's adjusted revenue grew by 8% to $42.40 billion, topping Bloomberg estimates of $39.34 billion. JP Morgan purchased a majority of the collapsed peer First Republic Bank in May, which helped in boosting net interest income. United Health Group today reported a quarterly adjusted profit of $6.14 per share for the second quarter ended June 30th, above analysts' expectations of $5.99 and $92.2 billion revenue above expectations of $90.94 billion. There has been increased demand in the healthcare industry for non-essential surgeries, which patients had delayed due to COVID-related circumstances, leading to United Health warning of a jump in their medical costs for this year. However, Actual costs were lower than feared medical costs, resulting in the positive quarterly financials. Wells Fargo reported EPS of $1.25, beating the average analyst estimate of $1.18. Revenue for the quarter came in at $20.53 billion versus the consensus estimate of $20.1 billion. The company stated that the big portion of their income was due to higher interest rates and the company's efforts to control expenses. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, posted a 25% rise in its second quarter adjusted profit today, benefiting from investors pouring money into its various market funds. On an adjusted basis, the company earned $9.28 per share, above analyst estimate of $8.43 for the three months ended June 30th. BlackRock missed on revenue, however, with a figure of $4.46 billion versus the consensus estimate of $4.48 billion. As Philip Capital Team, we wish you a happy weekend.